this thing with lying about breast cancer donations and stuff, we, first of all, we've never asked for donations for breast cancer ever. We take donations because yes, we're, we're, we're struggling and we do need certain things. Yeah, we have transportation. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, we do. Thanks to thanks to the folks. We yeah, do. thanks to the folks. <laughs> um, from the Uber, and we were sitting there waiting to get into the the, the uh, you know into the appointment. We were in the waiting room, and uh, they came out and said, uh, "Doctor had an emergency and had a leave fast." And we're like, "What?" Fucking mad as hell. I hate that goddamn doctor. I'm pissed, that's what. I couldn't take an Uber. I couldn't take an Uber. So we end up going to the fucking doctor. And then the secretary comes out and says, we gotta have to reschedule for the 23rd because the doctor had to go in an emergency. She was a Mary Shaw. She had no children, only dogs. And if you see her in your dreams, By now, you know Shani and Rev pretty well. You have seen them go from being successfully apart, to successfully together, to spending over $700,000 of an inheritance, to going to jail. You've seen domestic violence and saw them lose custody of the children. You have seen the good, the bad, and the ugly, and oh she ugly. Shani and Rev were homeless, going from motel to motel, and trying their best to get pity points on the internet, even after arriving at Rev's uncle's house. Oh, Shani can afford to lose a few meals. Ever been so depressed? You know your world is over. Nobody ever truly listens to you. They only cover and hide their neglect and abuse of you and then blame it on you. What if I just stopped? I hate people's actions. I hate their excuses and I hate their inability to truly care and understand. I feel alien in this world. Never understood. Never heard. Always alone. Never feeling welcomed and always feeling left out. I've been crying for five days straight and can't stop. I'm hopeless and lost. I miss my dad. I miss my mom. I miss my family. And I most of all miss my sons. My soul has been ripped apart and stolen from me. I was a pure spirit, a sweet spirit, and now I don't even want to take the chance to know anyone anymore. All the fake friends and family luring me in, breaking me, and discarding me like empty trash has taken its toll. I'm too tired, hurt and sick. My medications are gone um, and we are out of gas. Um, so I'm really, uh, if, there, if there is somebody out there uh, that, that's kind and, um, and you feel uh, that, that you can, um, it would be a huge help if, if, if somebody could provide like $20, $20 for some gas uh, in 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 the car that so that I can I can uh, because where we're at <clears throat> none of the places that are food places take the EBT card so 
it's really bad situation that that we're in right now i looked at my face in the mirror seeing my eyes red swollen from tears my womb longing for my babies seeing the weakness in my face i'm gaunt and i look like i've seen horrors i hate looking at my face i hate seeing once a strong face into weakness and sickness i'm mourning I'm mourning people, places, things, actions, my strength, my sons, but they're not dead, Shanny. Every day I die. Every day I'm alone. And nobody understands because nobody listens. When I'm gone someday, remember to love people. Never make them feel like me. Never make someone so alone like me. How you doing, guys? It's, uh, it's Rev here. Um... I'm just gonna put this out um, because I was requested to do so. Um, Shani is feeling extremely, not just a little bit, but it, it, she is in extreme pain, guys. Um, this has been occurring, I, I guess, about over the past week, maybe longer than that, um, that she, she has been having severe back pain and we're not really sure what's going on with it. Um, so uh, she requested that I come on and, and ask everybody that can pray to pray. Um, send up good vibes, pray. Um, because it's getting to the point where the, the pain is so unbearable that it's, it's really hard for her to do anything. But if, if possible, we would really appreciate you so much if you could send up some prayers for Shani's health. Um, so I, I appreciate everybody that would be kind enough to, um, to just pray. I'm not asking monetary nothing. I'm not, it's nothing like that. I'm, I'm just asking for prayers. Yeah, we're not out on the street yet, no. So uh, I did what I was supposed to do. Hello, 102 viewers, and goodbye. Peace out. When I look at social media, I just say ick. Everyone is so toxic and cruel lately that social media can be put on the back burner. I'd rather live in the real life where I don't have to be burdened by evil people with evil words, deeds, and plans. So peace out. Hey guys, how you doing? What's up? Uh, we're still in the same place that, we're at, that we were at before. And uh, we're in desperate need of, of drinks and food. Um, again, I want to thank everybody that's helped already. Um, but you see the address up in the left, uh, upper left-hand corner there. It's at Shanty Needs Love. If, if you could help us out, um, it's literally, it's for food and drink, that's it. Um, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, Shani is still feeling horrible. Um, she had, she's got a migraine to boot at this point. So uh, some food would be really good. Though God bless everybody out there, um, at, at, especially to the people that have a, a heart. You know, a kind heart. This isn't a rerun. This is live 21 gaming 21. This is I just said your name. It's live. Hi guys. What's up Ted? There's no reruns on this channel. We don't do reruns. I have nothing to say to you. Folks, coffee for cigarettes. I am live. This is live. I'm not record. This is not a recording. This is live, guys. So yeah, you see the address up there. Ch chat rooms usually are just filled with people that are extremely not. So uh, to the nice people out there, if you could help us out, we'd really appreciate it. Shanty has been feeling absolutely awful for the past, oh God, probably five days, three to five days, something like that. It's been very bad, but um. For the people that care and for the people that, that choose to help us out, you guys, you're the salt of the earth. 
So thank you. God bless everybody. Craving a pizza. Been a while since I have. Maybe my appetite is coming back. The deeper one dives into the Shannyverse, the worse the story becomes. After they lost their children and became homeless, Shanny and Rev took to the internet to receive pity and donations. The only problem was that not many people were willing to donate to child abusers, so they needed something else. They needed something that would ensure every time they came on the internet, they would receive pity and get donos. What if one of them had an illness? What if Shani was diagnosed with cancer? Surely that would ensure constant pity and donations. They wouldn't have to emotionally manipulate their audience much then. They would just have to show their faces and remind everyone of Shani's ailment and the cash would just start flowing. and people open their wallets. Now she's facing jail time. Tears from a mom on a story from Pahrump's channel KPVM looks sincere. Deputies say 31-year-old Tiffany DeArmond told the world her boy had leukemia, but she was lying. I didn't question it because I thought she really had it. She said she had kidney cancer. But last week, he got a call from one of Hume's friends who said she was faking it. Other news today, it was a heartbreaking tale. A young woman battling both leukemia and pancreatic cancer. The cops say she wasn't sick at all. This thing with lying about breast cancer donations and stuff, we first of all, we've never asked for donations for breast cancer ever. I just got back um, from my mammogram. And I just want to tell everyone here because like I'm busy, like really busy today. Um, but like I know everyone's asking me and I have like so many messages on Facebook and Instagram right now, uh, but um, I do, I, 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 I do have, this is all I know, okay, this is what I know, this is radiology only, this is my doctor, this is radiology only, um, from the mammogram and the ultrasound. Um, I do have a mass, um, probably the size of, like, chewed up bubble gum in my right breast. I don't know anything about my left breast. I haven't talked to my doctor about it, but my right breast, this is what I know from today. We've never asked for donations for breast cancer ever. So, Shani and Rev decided Shani had cancer. I say they decided this because this wasn't the first time they claimed so, believe it or not. In fact, these two have pulled this in the past. Shani has claimed to have had cancer at least three different occasions since 2019. Everyone knows someone who has been affected by cancer. Lying about a cancer diagnosis for donations for foods and drugs is considered scamming. Although many people had donated during this time, I did not agree with people stating they were going to put Shani in jail. It wasn't because she doesn't deserve to be in jail for her scam but because as someone whose main job over here on my channel is to shut down scams, it would be an impossible feat. I had been covering a scam called on Passive for two years at this point, and that man stole $800,000 from tons of vulnerable people. It took us two years to get the scam noticed by the Securities and Exchange Commission and get it sued. However, the CEO of that scam, Ash Mufara, is not facing any criminal charges. Unfortunately, Shani and Rev were not big enough fish to fry. I tried explaining this, but nobody listens to the woman who covers scams about how to stop someone from doing a scam. Weird. Although people claimed these two could face jail time for this cancer scam, they actually cannot. What's funny is that being the constant grifters they are saves them in an odd way, as they often claim they needed the money for other items and use Shani's cancer to gain sympathy in order to emotionally manipulate people to donate for something else. It appears Shani and Rev found a loophole and were more intelligent than everyone thought. A at least about how to scam people. I guess when it's a career, you become a professional. It was March of 2023, and Shani and Rev had claimed to have cancer. Well, that Shani had cancer. Sharing pictures of what they claimed was a tumor on Shani's breast. I found an amazing poster on Kiwi Farms who broke down a stream Shani did at this time. I feel this post sums up how this scam went for Shani quite well. 
Zaz here did an amazing breakdown for us. The cancer scam is put on hiatus, folks. Shani has made some insane claims that make zero sense in her latest video, where she claims the doctors found a large mass in her right breast and decided that rather than biopsy it immediately, they just watch it for six months and see what happens. I'd almost be willing to believe this because the doctors surely want her to die of cancer, except that she's a pathological liar. She claims she got a second mammogram today as well because I guess they lost the results of the first from just a few weeks ago. She's truly artward. They share some videos. Here is the breakdown. She just got back from the doctor. She won't be here long, but she means that literally this time because she has something else to do. She's really busy today, but even though she's a notorious big mouth, she won't let us know what she's got planned. This is what she knows from radiology only, from the mammoth gram and the ultrasound. She has a mass the size of chewed up bubble gum in her right tit. She don't know nothing about her left breast because she didn't talk to her doctor about it because I guess they only do the mammogram on one tit. She's scheduled to go back to get another mammogram in six months to monitor the size and growth. The doctors aren't quite sure what it is, but they'll monitor it over six months to see if there's any growth. The doctor hasn't said anything about her left breast, but he wants to talk to her right away. So there's another doctor's appointment lined up. There's not. It kind of looks like within the ultrasound and mammogram, a sputting potato, and they're not quite sure what to think about it. She doesn't know anything about biopsies. They didn't mention anything about biopsies. Repeats they're going to monitor it over the next six months. This is going to be a long journey that her and her family are going to have to take. Her family of Rev? Apparently her kids are already adopted. The mammogram was very painful this time because they were pressing so hard on her tit. That's every time, Shani. Even when she was getting the ultrasound, that was so painful. She said it might be a lymph node assist. Who knows? I guess she is is the technician or the doctor. There is something there. They are monitoring it. That's all she knows. All she knows is her boobies hurt right now. No, she seems in remarkably high spirits for someone who was just told they found a lump in her breast and they don't know what it is. She makes Rev feel her tits and find the lump, even though she just said it was incredibly painful to do so. She makes no pain noises at all as he does so. She doesn't know nothing about her left breast, nothing about biopsies. They gotta talk to the doctor about that, but for now they're just gonna wait. She will be scheduled in a day or two to have a mammogram in six months. They just got a message from their driver, so they're Ubering somewhere today. She just wants to let people know that this makes her nervous because it was so weird. They were putting her in so many weird positions in the mammogram. She's mentioning this because she totally went for real. She had to move her arms and hips in different ways. It was so awkward and weird and painful because it felt like they were trying to clip her booby off her. <gasps> Oh no, not that. It was serious pressing this time. So when they did the mammogram three weeks ago, they didn't do their jobs correctly. The back room of the mammogram place smells like sweet breast milk boobies. Why do boobies smell so good, she ponders. She doesn't know, but they do. No, anyone remember when Rev said her tits smelled like cat piss? Oh! Ew! Dude! Get your boobies checked, ladies. Rev agrees. You have to. It's important. Should she go into a little drama? G-Man recorded a crazy ass stalkery video earlier today to scare them. So she replies to it and tells him to come on over. Who gives a shit? She's got no ill will towards G-Man. They forgave him and are grateful for when he helped them. She's got to deal with important things in her life. The internet stuff? She doesn't care. They wish G-Man the best. That's it. Have a good life, Gary. Anyway, peace and marinara. She's got personal stuff in 45 minutes. They go on to say, this is one of her most offensive attempts to lie ever, if you ask me. She has no idea how any of that shit works, and she apparently thinks no one else does either. Like, no one out there has ever had cancer or mammograms but her. Trader also interviewed one of her recent pay pigs named Lisa, who's turned her back on Shani. The woman is married to a guy who literally does have cancer, and they were sending Shani a lot of money. When it dried up, Shani and Rev started leaving the manipulative voicemails, which are played on the stream. Lisa claims that Shani has already adopted the boys out to the family that was fostering them. But I've been told things just don't happen that fast. I have no idea. But Lisa has to be a crazy ass bitch to have been given them money. I do a longer summary of it. 
but I just don't have it in me right now. So here's the link. Pizza marinara, folks. Shani and Rev went back and forth, begging for donations, claiming they needed it to get to appointments, never leaving the house, coming up with excuses as to why the appointment didn't take place. And this was all bizarre, especially since Shani was supposed to be getting help from Child Protective Services. You see, when Shani lost custody of the boys, she took to the internet to let everyone know that CPS workers were setting her up with counseling and going to give her tons of resources and even help her get diagnosed. CPS also got wind of Shani and Rev's scam and offered to accompany Shani to the appointment. This allegedly took place and Shani alleges she had a mammogram, but as you heard, not many people believe this. Some think she dipped out on the appointment since we haven't heard of Shani having contact with CPS since. And at this point, the boys have been out of her custody for almost a year and were looking to be adopted by the foster family. Some even believe not attending her mammogram appointment with the CPS worker could have helped seal her faith in terms of losing custody of her children. It appeared Shani and Rev got over losing the boys fast though, and Shani was even cured of cancer, later stating that she never claimed to have cancer and everyone was making up lies about her. She was still raging on the internet about the haters and how they defamed her. Not sure why she cared about it so much when she makes up lies on herself though. Like it's holding up pretty good. So, what's up? So, I decided to become like an official like creative person and stuff. So I was I was just I was just watching some like Hasanabi videos regarding like Kanye West because Kanye West is acting totally like G Man. And then I came up with a brilliant idea since everyone likes to start rumors about themselves and it's, you know, I've kind of done this before. Um, I think it's a brilliant idea for me to start a rumor about myself because I can do it better than you guys and I'm a lot smarter than you guys and, and, and plus this rumor is a lot more juicier than anything you guys can make up. So, this is what happened. So, you know, Jason over here with his little, like, uh, prostitute trolling, you know? That son of a bitch, right? He decided to go and cheat on me with a prostitute, right? So, I decided to go and cheat on him with G-Man and the fact is me and Jason we made up cause like the sex is really good and everyone sucks in bed so what you're seeing of G-Man right now is, is, is G-Man just lashing out cause he can't get any of this goods anymore because me and Jason like made up because we're awesome together. That's the rumor. Go spread it. Bye! At the end of the day, Shani and Rev will always be grifters. They will always depend on donations from the internet to get by and will never find employment. And then it was finally, I just gotta pull the plug. And I pulled the plug three weeks ago. And I haven't sent them a dime, and you you hear what's going on. You hear all these videos that she's been making are all to me, and that's the truth. Yeah, I, I heard some of them. She seems really fucking, like, crushed over this whole thing. I'm a, I'm a likable gal. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's not the reason. It's the, the money just, situation, you know. You know? She could money. give a shit less money. about you. Exactly. It's the money. It's all. She's not crying. She could give two fucks about me. I mean, do you, somebody that doesn't give a shit about their own kids, do you really think she's going to ever care about you? Well, I can tell you this. I can tell you that she had the nerve. I, I know when to tread lightly. You know what yeah. I mean? And uh, she told me, and I mean, it's so stupid. It was a private adoption. <laughs> wow. It's a private adoption if you're giving a baby up at birth. Who did that? No, I'm saying. 
So, yeah. Carrie must be on. Oh, God, Carrie must be stalking you. Why? Carrie just texted me. Can I call her right away? I'm only talking to you. Nobody else. Once we get done talking, I'm done. It wasn't just their audience that they scammed out of money. They scammed those who they considered to be friends. There have been several people who have spoken out about being their confidants and helping them out financially. Just for Shani and Rev tact ungrateful and at times downright rude and disrespectful to those who helped them. Due to this, nobody helps them anymore. Shani had one of her wishes actually come true. No more concern trolling. Nobody cared about Shani or Rev anymore. They had become lol calves. People would watch them and troll them to entice a reaction, usually one that was rage filled, so they could stream the situation later and milk the two of them for content. People stopped reaching out to them in private because they would blast anyone who did, and those people would end up not only attacked by them, but attacked by the reaction community for being Shani supporters. Again, I don't agree with going after those who fall for the scammer's bullshit, but I don't make the rules on the internet, especially around these parts. There was Lisa, the woman whose husband had cancer, so she felt empathy for Shani and Rev, and there were several people who reached out and had it spit back in their faces. I urge all of you to check out the Shani for Christ reaction channels for more information and for the interviews where people have spoken out about being taken advantage of by Shani and Rev. The reason why I don't want to cover this in depth is because there's too much infighting surrounding it. Due to that, it is very hard for me to sip through what information is true about whom and who's a real victim, who's a fake victim. Apparently, the Shani for Christ reactors gatekeep being taken advantage of by Shani. Uh-huh, who knew? In fact, this is why not many people on the outside of the Shani for Christ 8 logging community will even cover her. When I let people know I was doing this video, several creators warned me that those who react to these two log cows are constantly infighting, gatekeeping content, going in real life, and just causing too much drama. So if you do enjoy the Shani content, do so carefully. If you donate to Shani because you came across her and you don't know who she is, pray that you are able to leave the community unscathed and without 100 trolls calling you names and attacking your home because you had no clue about this world. That is the life of a Shani reactor. It is a club one must join, and in order to do so, you must suck up to Dragnaught or BGTV. I feel more people would be willing to help spread awareness about Shani if her reactors didn't treat her as if she was an actual cow they bought at a farmer's market to bring home to the barn that they just spent 10 years building. It's just not that deep. But again, that is the life of a Shani reactor, which I am not. I weep for mankind. Well, 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 let's recount what has happened to me in the last week. I may deserve the hate, you know? I bring it on just to piss people off and just to tick them off, you know what I mean? It's okay. And, and here's the thing, it's okay for them to rip you up and say whatever the fuck they want. But when you turn around and do it to them, oh, they cry, they whine, they act like, this fucking baby, ba 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 ba. These people will just wax worse and worse. And I, I, I'm focused on my own self. I'm focused on my own salvation. As soon as you give to people, they just backlash and backstab you. I, I'm just, I'm staying as separated as I possibly can from people, and I, I just, I, I see them and, and how they're behaving and how hateful they are. And, I need a third of self control here. And if I'm okay, and I'm crying constantly because his mother isn't getting the help she needs. Maybe it's that! Whatever. I wanna be loved by you, it's true. Boo -boo -boo -boo. Shani and Rev took to making YouTube account after YouTube account and trying to be famous creators. They even received monetization for their Losers Club account, but that was quickly removed for ban evading. One shouldn't monetize an account when ban evading from the platform. You have to give YouTube your personal information in order to get paid, and once they handed that in, they were caught. Most recently, Shani and Rev have started to stream on Instagram. Not much has changed. It seems to be the same old, same old with Shani. 
They do not want to be around any of the trolls, yet still grift whenever possible. Shani pretends to have a busy life, but they seem to be able to string quite often. When I began this documentary, they were booted off the platform completely and not yet streaming on Instagram. I was hoping to report that Shani and Rev had finally logged off the internet and realized that fixing their real lives was more important than becoming a famous streamer on YouTube. As I was writing this script, they returned to the platform. As of this moment, Shani is not posting much on her Twitter and seems to have lost her Instagram account, or I just can't find it. I searched out her hashtag on Instagram and it just shows me Shaw of Thirst photos and I think she took it over because fuck Shani. Several people are still reacting to them and will continue to. Alas, this is what happens to a lol cow. And of course, Shani has been dubbed the worst lol cow on the platform. They never got custody of the children back, and many people believe the children have been adopted. The reactor community is constantly infighting, and at this point, many are becoming lol cows themselves. That side of the internet is a mess, but so is Shani. She'll always be a mess, and not a hot one. This story is never ending. I feel these two will be on Instagram 10 years from now still grifting for smokes and Delta 8 while pissing on the uncle's couch. They haven't been evicted from his home yet and continue to destroy it. We all saw what their last home looked like. So keep watching. Shani's log house status has made her a subject of fascination, criticism, and trolling within online communities. Her rage streams and performance artistry has become an iconic part of her brand, which has contributed to her notoriety and engagement with her audience, uh, trolls. However, her content has been subject to critiques and controversies, which have led to further scrutiny and backlash. As Shani continues to produce content, it remains to be seen how her brand and reputation will evolve. As for right now, Revelation News and Shani are lol cows. And the worst ones on the internet at that. I wanna be loved by you, it's true. Boo -boo -boo -boo. Nation. They call me a girl. 